Attach the 10 ml syringe to the needle and cannula assembly. Step 2. Insert the 14 gauge needle and cannula with attached saline filled syringe caudally into the insertion site, followed by free bubbling of air into the syringe while aspirating. This confirms entry of the needle into the trachea. Remove the syringe. Step 3. Next, take the flexible guide wire and guide wire introducer and straighten the J-tip using the guide wire introducer. Insert the guide wire introducer into the plastic cannula and advance the guide wire until the first mark can be seen in the cannula and at the level of the skin. Great care should be taken throughout the procedure to avoid kinking the guide wire. Confirm free movement of the guide wire by moving the guide wire, without resistance, in and out of the cannula prior to removal. As the guide wire will be used to guide components into the trachea, it is important to frequently check the free movement of the guide wire in and out of the components and trachea. Remove the guide wire introducer followed by the cannula. This leaves the flexible guide wire positioned in the trachea. Step 4. Advance the lubricated 14 gauge predilator over the guide wire through the soft tissues until resistance is felt on the tracheal wall. With a gentle twisting motion of the dilator, advance the dilator to penetrate the pretracheal tissue and anterior tracheal wall. Remove the dilator, leaving the guide wire in place, ensuring that the first mark on the guide wire is at the skin level. Step 5. Pass the long guiding catheter over the guide wire into the trachea in the direction of the arrow mark until the black safety stop on the guiding catheter is located at skin level. Step 6. Pass the dilator over the guiding catheter until it reaches the black stop. The proximal mark of the guiding catheter is just visible at the handle end of the tapered dilator. While stabilizing the guide wire and catheter assembly, insert and partially remove the tapered dilator several times in order to over-dilate the trachea to a size appropriate for the tracheostomy tube. The dilator is marked with a 38 French gauge at a maximum insertion depth mark. The dilator should not be inserted beyond the maximum depth mark. Care should be taken not to pull the guide wire guiding catheter assembly out of the trachea when removing the tapered dilator. Reposition the guide wire guiding catheter assembly and remove the tapered dilator, leaving the guide wire guiding catheter assembly in the trachea. Step 7. Pass the lubricated tracheostomy tube loaded onto its lubricated introducer over the guide wire guiding catheter assembly into the trachea with a slight twisting motion. Hold the tracheostomy tube flange and connector firmly while removing the introducer and guide wire guiding catheter assembly as a unit in an arc motion toward the patient's feet.